Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, we're still in Platform Analytics Workspace and I'm going to talk about certification. Okay, so with great power comes great responsibility. Sorry to pull a cliche on you, but let's take a look at our data visualizations. Now, I have a video where I actually created some data visualizations, so you can go check that out, see what that's all about. Um, let's just pull up this calendar of risk, uh, risk events here. And the concept today is that you're gonna have these visualizations and even dashboards in your environment, and people will have access to these, they can add them to their workspaces and stuff like that. So what ServiceNow has done is given you the ability to actually do some certification on uh, whether that's you know been reviewed and it's certified as being a valid um, metric or valid report. So what's hidden here, and I haven't clicked on this yet, is this little I button when you're on the data visualizations or when you're on a dashboard. And you can use this I button to do a couple of things. One is uh, rename that visualization or the dashboard or um, do this data certification thing. I was hoping that this would have come up by now. I probably shouldn't have picked on the calendar of risk events. Let's actually go, oh, there it goes. As soon as I'm about to go away from it. Um, I was gonna go open another one, but we'll just wait for this. Well, maybe not. So let's open, let's just do a score here. That should render a little bit faster. Uh, there it goes. So now my calendar, here's my details on that calendar of risk events and then see this little guy right here mark as certified this is what i'm referring to so if you hover over it if with your cursor you can see that this is a way for marking an item um, as certified lets users know that it's been verified and recommended to use across the company so you can just enable that by checking here and now that will mark it as certified so not a lot of rigor around this i bet you there might be an opportunity for a flow or a workflow for approval to get this in the admin queue so that you actually can review it but it's a start and it's more than we had in the uh, previous reporting and analytics let's go open so you saw it there let's go open a dashboard um, because you have the same on the actual dashboard. So I've got my Tokyo Features dashboard here, and um, that will have the same little I or information button on it, and we can use that to toggle the certification. Let's just take a look at all features here. This loaded up, and you'll see that even though it's not a calendar, it's a, sco uh, it's a school card, scorecard, we have the option to configure that, and it's not showing right now because I'm in the wrong uh, application scope. That probably is going to happen here too because I think I built this in my Tokyo Features um, application scope. Let's take a look there. Uh, let's see, the I button. Yeah, it's going to let me do it here. So on the dashboard, I can mark it as certified or mark it not as certified. And here's that little information button, same as it was on the data visualization. And uh, here it is on the actual data visualization. And if you're in the wrong scope, like you see here, um, you will not be able to change that or change anything about this. So it's interesting that I built my visualizations in a scoped app, but my dashboard looks like it's sitting in global. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody you think might be interested in making sure their reports and dashboards are getting reviewed and are actually helpful to their users. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.